Hey guys, this is Justin back with an engineer's perspective. And I'm doing the final review on this guy right here, the Pioneer X. Um, right off the bat, I'm just going to say that I really, really do enjoy this tool. And if you want to save some time, I'm just going to say, go buy it. Just go buy it. You won't be sad. You'll be happy. It'll definitely add to your life. So, there you go. Um, let's kind of just go through the tools and then some specific thoughts on them and then do some comparisons between these guys. Got some eye candy up there for giggles, or mostly because I was too lazy to actually clean, so I just kind of lined them up. But let's get into it. So, kind of the main tool here is going to be the blade. Um, this is a 93 millimeter Victorinox. It's one of the A-Lox uh, tools. So what that gets you is these aluminum scales, but it also, in the Pioneer version, gives you this extra long, extra stout blade here. Um, let's get some measurements on it for you. There we go. Switch to communist units. So right after the whatever you'd call that thing, Ricasso, I guess. You got 2.7 millimeters compared to the two millimeters on the standard 91 millimeter tools. And it is actual blade length, about 63 and a quarter millimeters long. And what the heck, while we're here, at the base, 12.8 millimeters high. Um, as with all Victorinox knives, this is particularly slicey, not notably less slicey than the 91 millimeters though. It's stouter in every way. This one here is about 15 thousandths behind the edge at roughly 18 degrees per side. You know what? That's not actually true. I think it's 14 thousandths at 18 degrees per side. Let's see if I can pull that measurement for you on camera here. That's not right. It's pretty difficult. Yeah. 13 and a half to 14 thousandths behind the edge. So that's quite a bit slicier than most knives. Like these PM2s up here, these ones are gonna be 20 thousandths and above for the most part behind the edge at roughly that same angle. So quite a bit slicier than your standard uh, knife and you'll notice that. So. Really great. Steel is similar to an X50CR MOV15 at roughly 56, 57 Rockwell. Um, what that means is it's going to be very stainless, especially with this polish they put on there. But what it will not do is hold an edge for an incredibly long amount of time. So what I use it for is for tasks that aren't going to dull the blade, like cutting fruit, or very delicate cuts where I need a super, super sharp knife. That's kind of what I reserve this for. But if this is the only knife you're carrying, then, you know, the good news is that it's going to lose edge, but it's very easy to put an edge back on. I recommend something like this, the Work Sharp Field Sharpener, or more than that, the Spyderco Sharp Maker is my favorite way to sharpen up Victorinox knives. Um, but overall, good knife. And what can help with that low edge retention is the next tool, the awl. So the awl is obviously for drilling holes and things, but it's also great for opening up packages and scraping, and that will save your main blade a lot. So I recommend utilizing this tool for that as like a secondary blade almost um, in this. And I, I really like the awl. I really, really do because of, yeah, for opening most things, this will do it. It's very robust. The Pioneer, actually all the Alox knives have extra stiff back springs too. Excuse me. So that really makes it easier to really get after it with this alt. So works great. Let's go up to the front here. So one of the attractions is getting a, one of these guys on the tool. I really like this can opener because it's not just a can opener, it's also a very, very effective uh, Phillips driver. So I don't have it sitting around here, but I did a, my son's little plastic wheelbarrow handle broke off. So I kind of shaped a handle on the sander 
and uh, stuck it in there and I used this to drill the screws in and it worked great. So very effective uh, screwdriver, very good can opener and you do have the small flat head on there as well but I use it for Phillips, that's its number one job. Oh yeah, don't worry about marring up this sharpened edge because A, you can resharpen it but B, it doesn't have to be sharp to work as a can opener and how many cans are you genuinely opening with this? You're not, so, <laughs> so don't worry about it. Next up is your flat head, so it stops in the 90 degree, so you can get extra torque. I don't do that frequently, but um, I use it in this straight orientation. So you got a flat head, a wire stripper, and a great bottle opener. Um, as with the knife, this is also quite a bit more robust than uh, um, the standard here. So the standard is 0 0.08. Oops, I'm going to do this in millimeters just because I feel like it. that didn't sound right. Two millimeters on the standard, two and a quarter on uh, this one. And uh, you can see the blade tip is wider and just bigger all around much more confident of a tool for like prying uh, I like it for like scraping as well it's not a super sharp tip for scraping but it definitely works this is one of those tools Victorinox rounds and polishes just like everything I really think this the tip of this would have benefited from being a little bit sharper so you could always you know touch it on a piece of sandpaper or a belt sander and do that I have not done that yet though and then lastly, what makes this the Pioneer X versus the standard Pioneer is the lovely and amazing Victorinox scissors. Now these are the same as the standard 91 millimeter scissors for all intents and purposes. There are minor differences like the nail nick being on the opposite side. Evidently the pivots are a different size, but they look similar to me. Maybe it's this. The, this one that's different size there's some very wildly minute differences but they're basically the same which is a good thing because these are the best scissors that you can fit inside of your pocket in a tool you can i've had in the covid whatever i had my hair cut with the scissors on this one and they'll cut hangnails and threads and just anything great great scissors the scissors are definitely a reason to buy it um, and uh, there's nothing on the back because it's one of the ALOX tools um, so those that's the tool set so let's kind of talk about it a little bit so what this is now going to turn into so everything's great okay everything is objectively great all the tools work well and they do it so there you go but no complaints but there is a point of comparison to be made now because everything's relative, you always got an option. So here's the first thing that I find is this blade is still extra slicey, but it's not as slicey as a 91 millimeter knife. So just keep that in mind. So this one is just units back and forth. Can't quite catch it. So maybe 11, 11 thousandths behind the edge and a two millimeter spine. So it's thinner behind the edge and the wedge that is the blade is at a more acute angle. And you really notice that, especially when you're cutting up things like apples or wedgy fruits, you know, things that are pretty hard. So if you like go to the zoo, you know, and you're gonna cut one up for your kids, this is going to be notably better. Um, what is the other thing? I and mean, that's the big one for me. Um, oh, and then here's the other one. So I've got the Victorinox Compact here. This has been my long time, like, EDC companion. Like, this is what I carry, always. No matter what else is going on. This is in my pocket. I adore the compact and I still do. Why did I choose the compact? That's because you could get the scissors 
in a two layer knife, meaning it's thin and light, right? And there's the combo tool there, the knife and the scissors. It's got some stuff on the back too, but that's what it drew me to it. Here's the deal though, and why I actually bought the Pioneer X is because it is 14.65 millimeters thick on this two layer tool versus 14.55 on the Pioneer X. So with these A-Lock scales, is you actually get three layers in a thinner tool than the standard two layer. So now what you get is uh, basically these tools for free. Your this one and that one. And that's my major complaint to the Pioneer X is that it relies on this combo tool for can opening, for prying, for flathead driving, for Phillips driving. And it does some of those things better than others, but where it really falls short is the Phillips driving. And that's the Achilles heel of the compact for me. My answer to it is to been carry one of the Victorinox pocket tools or keychain 58 millimeters that has this Phillips driver on it. But if I wanted one tool that does it better, this is the Pioneer X is definitely that. Um, and you get it in a thinner package. Heavier, this is 3.3 ounces compared to 2.2, I believe, on the Pioneer X. Or on the, the compact, sorry. So, you know, now it's they're very close in thickness. So really it's an apples to apples um, for what you're looking for. Um, with that and then the other comparison is if you're the only other way to get scissors then is to go to a three layer knife if you're not going to do this compact this is the only two layer knife you get scissors in more or less i think i'm not a victorinox expert here so now let's look at this super tinker which is what my mind used to go to and i thought scissors in a victorinox so 17.1 17.15 17 millimeters quite a bit thicker it doesn't look crazy but trust me when this baby's in your pocket it feels thick and the tool set is good i don't know i mean really it's the same as the the pioneer you know th this has everything the pioneer does except for it puts the all on the back here oops and then you get a dedicated um phillips you get the multi-purpose hook, which I actually like, the scale tools, and then you get a blade for free. So technically you do get more capability out of the Super Tinker than the Pioneer X, but they weigh similarly. This is quite a bit thinner, noticeably so. And with those stiffer back springs, it's a lot more usable of a tool. This, uh, this is gonna be weird to say, but of these three, back tools the multi-purpose hook is the most useful one to me because i hate truly this style of uh, phillips driver it's like worthless and the all like this is just it works for drilling holes pretty well i guess but not for anything else whereas this is much more multi-purpose for me so this hands down beats the super tinker um for those reasons so yeah that's those are the implements they're all good relative to to me it's competition which is the compact here as you get the same form factor with more robust springs and much better driving capability um, but you know would I choose the compact over the Pioneer X or the Pioneer X over the compact well I will answer that now for you. I was trying to decide if I was going to make a whole video about it, and I'm, I don't think I will. The answer is, for me, in my daily life, I'd probably choose the, the Compact over the Pioneer X. And this is why. is because, as a package, it does more overall. So, the Combo Tool does a million and one things. It's got the slicier blade, which is pretty important to me same scissors i've got all of the 
tools and the scales important to me. Here's a big one that the, the Pioneer is missing is the file. So I really like having a file and the compact sneaks it in on the back of this multi-purpose hook, which I like as a tool. I like having this corkscrew for undoing knots. I do like having this little uh, screwdriver in there for scraping at things that are very tiny. I have used it on tiny screws as well. Oh uh, yeah, any 91 millimeter has this slot, but the compact comes with this nice little pin for you know whatever you need it for. Not one I use too terribly frequently, but it's a more um, wide variety of tools on this. Um, and they, they kind of address the wide variety of crap that I want to do compared to the Pioneer X, where it's really like opening up packages, you know, cutting up fruit, and then screw driving and prying and scissors. Those, that's what this does. Whereas this does those things, albeit the screw driving is poor, but and, and everything else. So it just does more for me. So if I had to pick one, I would pick, just do the compact. That said, I am still carrying the Pioneer X over the compact. And uh, I don't have to choose one, so I get to own both. Because God bless America, right? So it is great. It really is. And uh, yeah. I guess I can just mention that in anything with like a sloped pocket, like one that the, the seam is basically up and down, I've been carrying it in this Springbok uh, leather slip just so that it doesn't slide out of my pocket because I've lost lots of Swiss Army knives that way. Well, not lots, but I've lost them. I've been carrying it in this, and then when I'm wearing jeans, I don't like this. And I just drop this down into my left pocket, and it just sits at the bottom like that, and I'm totally cool. With it being like that, so that's that's carry on it. So great tool, love it. You know, if you want something that's got some more capabilities or a slicier blade, the compact. But you just you're not gonna go wrong with this guy. So that's the the final review. So thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye.